All right, so there's this small problem that I have with the EVX mount that I'm not too sure uh, what to do to fix it. But anyways, uh, as you can see there where the counterweight is, there's barely, barely a hair inch room between the the uh, motor part of the, one of the motors, one of the motor cases and the counterweight. Now, sadly, uh, the uh, weight for this telescope is right for balance. So the problem is, is that uh, when I go to something, I'll see if I can get it to do this or not. If I can get this. So here is the controller here. And uh, I'm going to back this up real quick. And uh, see what we got here. So I believe that we are properly lined. Well, maybe off there a little bit. Actually, we need to go this way. Okay, so there roughly we are lined with the index markers. Now, I am going to go ahead and say that we are set to the index markers, so we're good. <laughs> so now we get away for the GPS to... Uh, lock on. Of course, I could just hand it enter, but I prefer to let it uh, make sure that it locks on to a satellite and uh, gets my coordinates. There we go. So, we're going to go ahead and do a solar, just a quick solar alignment. And uh, the moon is uh, right there over that power line. Hopefully, you can see it right there. You can see the moon just barely right over that power line in the middle or on the top power line there. Okay, so I'm going to try to slew to the uh, to the moon. So, we're going to bring up the moon there, press enter, the telescope's going to slew. You can just see that the weight is hitting the gearbox and the telescope is still slewing. But you can just see there that the counterweight is on that, uh, that motor box. Let's see if I can go on the other side real quick so you can see this. So there you go. You can see how the counterweight, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but you can see how the counterweight uh, hits the box there. So I'm not too sure what's up with that, but that's going to totally screw up my alignments. Not too sure as to what I can do to uh, fix that, but as you can see, that's where the counterweight is. It's almost at the very, very top with just about an inch, maybe not even less than an inch of a gap between the, the mount. And you can see there... That is where the uh, counterweight is uh, hitting the uh, motor, this motor box here. So uh, that is the uh, telescope facing the moon there. Hopefully we're facing the moon right up there. Someplace right there. So if we uh, if we go to the sun, we'll watch the uh, the counterweight here. Uh, Pat this up and go to the sun. So here's the sun. I got the cap on it, so we're good. Watch that counterweight. It's actually bumping in. It's actually bumping into the box there. The plastic box with the counterweight's hitting. You just barely cleared that uh, that box. For some reason, the whole weight, the whole shaft bar, is uh, rotating. As you can see there, the telescope is going to the sun, right? And that's what the counterweight is looking like now. Now let's go back to the moon again. So we're gonna go back to the moon. Uh, back back this out and uh, go back to the moon there so we're going to watch this counterweight hit the box there there you go it hit the box and it's not even moving the the mouse not even moving now the bottom was not even moving now only the only the OTA is moving uh, the other uh, thing is moving. 
you see that there. It's supposed to be facing up that way, and it's facing down like that. You can see how the counterweight's moving now. See how it's moving? Moved this a little bit. So this is a <laughs> this is a problem here. I don't know what's up with this or how to fix this part. Uh, but as you can see there, that's what it's like. So let me go back to the sun real quick, and then I'll end this video. So we're at the we're supposed to be at the moon, but <laughs> as you can see, the moon is uh, just touching that power line there, top power line, and this is where the where the uh, telescope is pointing now. So we started out at the moon, and uh, now I'm gonna go back to the sun here. So we're gonna scroll up here to the sun, press enter, press enter. Now we're gonna watch this mount here take a nosedive. This is bad. Look at this. It's completely lost its alignment. And look at it going down now. See that? <laughs> and I don't even think I could stop it. See that? That is really bad. See how the counterweight is up like this? This is bad. If my OT was to take a fall right now, hey, what is up with that, guys? What is up with that? And the sun is right there. So how do we go from from there to this now? I'm confused. <laughs> Anyways, any advice, comments, please. <laughs> Don't know how what's up with the balancing. If the I'm sure the balancing is right though.